What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another less than five minute gear review and in this video We're going to be going over a couple of different map cases and some tips and tricks when it comes to map cases so With that said I'm going to talk about everything that's on the table right real quick and then go through and give you a little bit more Detailed description of everything that you see so first and foremost We have the seal line map cases these are gonna cost you anywhere from 15 to 25 dollars 15 for the small 20 for the medium 25 for the large and then next we have the Ranger Joe's map case. This is going to cost you roughly around uh, twelve to fifteen dollars. Uh, just depends on the color and or camo pattern that you're trying to get. And then last but not least, we have the Twenty First Tactical Roll Up map case. This is a store right outside of Fort Bragg, and this comes in a small and a large. So uh, we'll talk in depth on all of these, uh, and then go through and talk about a few tips and tricks as well. So. Starting with the uh, seal lines and what these can do. I know a lot of guys that use these. I've used these for the past 10 years in my military career. And I know across the board, uh, guys use these things for Ranger School, uh, RASP, SFAS. I mean, whatever the selection, whatever the training, I know a lot of people that utilize these. I've heard very few scenarios where maps get put inside of these and they get wet because of the zipper up top and uh, I mean, dude, when it comes down to it, I've heard just people praise these map map cases more than anything. So um, with that said, if you're in a wet environment or you know you're going to go do something where there's a possibility of your maps getting wet, I would highly advise of purchasing something like this. One of the other nice capabilities or features with this is you do have a dual-sided capability. So you can run two maps inside of this or you can run a map on one side and then run documents for your mission on the other side. So... Uh, that is a really nice feature about this because these other map cases don't do that. Um, so I really don't have anything else to say when it comes to the seal line. I think these things are awesome. They have done a phenomenal job for me as well as for a lot of other people that I know. One other minor tip though, these plastic D-rings that are on them, they can break. So just take that into consideration. You can just replace them with key rings and that gives the map case uh, still the ability to clip into whatever you're trying to clip into but it also uh, prevents you from breaking these on the end so uh, i've seen a couple of people put s carabiners on them so that's an option as well too so uh, moving on uh, we have the ranger joe's map case now this is a pretty simple map case it's just a trifold that opens right up you do have a pocket on the back side so you have the ability to put documents or uh, mission information whatever the case may be you have the ability to throw that on the back side or if you want to throw extra maps in the back uh, you can do that and then you can have a, a specific map or documents on the front side uh, one thing that's nice with this is because of the trifold and how it all folds up you can put the map on uh, two sides of the trifold and then you can put documents on the other side uh, depending on what size those documents are if you're little baseball cards like a lot of people uh, get for mission sets this thing is awesome for it uh, with that said one tip when it comes to using a map case like this, because of this Velcro opening for your map case, I would advise that you laminate the map because when you put that map inside of this, I have seen guys go out, uh, it was in SFAS and in RASP where uh, guys went out, they utilized this map case, it rained like hell all day and those dudes came back with a completely damaged map. So. Uh, I would advise that you try and laminate the map to protect the map so that way uh, you don't have to worry about your map being damaged in a wet environment uh, because this map will not protect you from the water and from a wet environment. So uh, take that into consideration. The other thing you can do is you can just throw your map in a plastic bag and then throw it inside of this, which is an alternate option to protect your map. So uh, depending on what's going on, if you want the quick fix solution, a plastic bag, you just throw that inside of, or throw your map inside of that and then throw that inside of here. So uh, I do like this map case a lot for its organization, organizational purposes. So I do have the ability to throw a couple of different things in here. I got like a little mission planning board stuff in the back side of this, as well as uh, all the tools and everything to be able to uh, do land navigation. So. Uh, so that is the Ranger Joe's map case. Uh, like I said, that's gonna cost you roughly around $12 to $15. And then last but not least, we have 
the 21st tactical roll up map case. Now this is pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, you have the hair ties on the exterior. It rolls up and unrolls. You have a VS-17 panel on the interior so you can use this to be able to signal. Uh, but when it comes down to this, like the Ranger Joes, you may wanna do something to additionally protect your map as you put it on the inside because this won't protect you from the water and from the elements. So take that into consideration. I do like using this more for uh, mission documents than for maps just because of how small it is because you can see even uh, compared to the small seal line this thing is pretty small now they do have a larger version which is pretty much the equivalent of this medium seal line but uh, do take that into consideration because i do think that this is a really nice map case or just document protector especially with the added feature of this elastic loops to be able to hold everything in place and roll it right up so you barely have anything that uh you're having to work with so with that said, if you have any questions, please feel free, leave a comment. We'll answer any questions that you have. Like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Oh, before I forget, and I apologize for going over five minutes, uh, I will be doing a review on the Magpul docker pouches that have the windows on them. Uh, I have a couple of Magpul docker pouches right here. These things are awesome for any type of document protection, but they do make a windowed version that is a really good product when it comes to utilizing it as a map case i know a guy that has them and he absolutely loves them so i think they're a very good competitor for the seal line but we'll be doing a, a review on that in the future so keep a lookout for that that said we'll see you next time